When I was a kid, I was really interested in painting and in comic books. And, and you know, the, the promise here with paint is that it's, it's incredibly beautiful, it's incredibly human, um, very rich. And uh, when I was a kid, I did um, lots of painting. This is a really awkward picture of me doing one of my first paintings, um, wearing pajama bottom cutoff pants and uh, really bad hair and braces. Um, and uh, then I got a little bit older and I started doing oil paintings. I started doing these landscape paintings, uh, like with a field easel and a beret standing out in the rain. <laughs> really absurd. Uh, then, um, then I started keeping these sketchbooks. I saw a show of this guy Peter Beard uh, when I was a teenager and I, he really inspired me to start keeping really elaborate sketchbooks that would record my living experience. So I would fill them with all sorts of stuff like um, uh, ticket stubs and dead plants and dead insects and watercolor paintings and writings. And they were these very personal documents that kind of um, reflected whatever I was experiencing in my life. And I would try to add a page to them every single day. And I still have um, lots of these. Uh, some of them were very, very personal. Uh, others had photography pasted in. Um, this, uh, yeah, just a bunch of stuff. And, and I loved this feeling of slowly creating something that became more and more beautiful over time, uh, this record of my life that would become more beautiful over time. And that feeling is a feeling I never had on the internet, notably. And that insight would come back later to inform some of my other later work. But I never had that feeling on the internet of slowly creating something that increased in beauty. Everything was like these quick hits that were just being thrown away. Um, so I kept these sketchbooks for about six years, and I stopped keeping them um, very abruptly in uh, 2003. I was traveling in Central America with some friends, and I was alone one afternoon in, in um, San Jose, Costa Rica, and got jumped and robbed by five people with a, like a gun on my head, and they um, they took a knife and cut the strap of my of my bag and took a sketchbook that had like eight or nine months of work in it, and uh, and it was very traumatic. I got beaten up pretty badly, um, and had these sunburned blisters on my shoulders that got ripped open, so it was bleeding all over the place. And, uh, you know, it was this very traumatic experience, but it ended up being one of those things in life that is um, terrible when you're going through it, but that ends up being uh, opening into a new way of doing things, a kind of doorway into a new way of doing things. And so uh, for me, when that experience happened, I realized the cost of working with paint is that it's, it's very fragile, very fleeting. Um, and this isn't just paint, but anything that's physical and tactile.